I am absolutely thrilled to have two wonderful people with me today, Karen and Judith, and they're from Cota, New South Wales. So I'm going to ask you, Karen, could you explain what Cota um, does for ours, the seniors in our community? Thank you. Absolutely. So Cota stands for Council on the Ageing. Um, we have been around for about 65 years in New South Wales. Um, we're a peak body, which means that we advocate for the needs of older people over 50 in New South Wales. Um, we're part of a larger federation, so there are coders in every state and territory, and there's also a coder Australia, which is very um, active in the aged care space, for example. So that meant you would have had a lot to do with the Aged Care Royal Commission. Did you provide information to them, for example? Yes, yeah, so Coda, Coda Australia focuses on um, aged care specifically and they have been extremely active in that space. Um, they appeared at the Commission and they've also been heavily um, advocating to government about what really needs to change in aged care. Um, at a state level, we look at more things around things like housing or transport or um, social inclusion, so right. having older people get involved in their local communities, health um, and employment we focus on at a state level. It's a fantastic organisation. You do so many, so much good work for everyone. And you're here, are you here to spread the word at the Seniors Festival, at yeah. the Expo? I think it's really important to just have a presence at the festival so that people are aware of what we do. Um, we often get phone calls from people asking where to go to get help for things. So um, if we can provide that assistance and referrals, then that's really important as well. Um, but we also have a number of programs um, that we run, which I might oh, hand right. over to, to Judith to... Judith, to tell us about the programs. Okay. I didn't know you ran programs. That's okay. great. Yes. On top of the policy and advocacy work that CODA does, we've also got some direct service um, programs. So there's a Living Longer, Living Stronger uh, program, which has a focus on training up uh, exercise physiologists and fitness instructors to be sensitive to the needs of older people and often delivered by older Right. Um, you know, aged <laughs> instructors. And um, that's statewide. So um, one of my colleagues, Camilla, that's her program. So she's been training up people to, um, you know, get more instructors in areas uh, with a focus on like falls prevention, strength building, balance, that type of thing for seniors. Um, we've also got um, my program, which is a legal pathways program. So the scope of my program is to assist people that are on an age pension or holding the Commonwealth Seniors Health Card to have access to a private solicitor to get a simple will drawn up and or an enduring power of attorney, enduring guardianship. Um, part of my role, because I'm a phone service, is I talk to people what are the issues to consider about your life and who's in it and who you could trust to make decisions in the future if you need a substitute decision maker because you no longer have a sound mind and judgment. So, um, yeah, talking on the phone to ask people what to consider and then helping them get prepared for an appointment with a private solicitor. Um, we've got solicitors, Coffs Harbour, Tweeds, all the way down to Wollongong, good coverage in southwest Sydney, western Sydney. That's fantastic. City, yeah. Yes. So, and I'm very excited. I've just sent off a memorandum of understanding. So Goulburn is just about to join our scheme. I've got a firm that I've persuaded to oh, <laughs> join us. How wonderful. Yeah. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. That's good because there's so many people now who are older and who are actually moving to regional areas. So yeah. the more um, support they get and the more good advice and yeah. where they can go to you for the, for yeah. the the proper information because yes. it's so much misinformation you feel like you're sort of floundering a lot of the yeah. time so so we're offering like a practical pathway yep. to meet with a private solicitor to get those documents done at a heavily discounted rate oh great the private solicitors are the star of the program but yeah people just come through me to yeah have a chance to chat about it i take calls from family members um, because I'm not a solicitor i'm quite happy to have <laughs> a family conference and have you know the mum to dad grand niece daughter-in-law, whoever on the phone line with me, not a problem. Happy to share the information so that people get yeah, good information and a chance to think about who's in their life, who can they appoint to step in and make decisions if required in the future. It's not given that we lose legal capacity, but it is wise to plan ahead in case that happens and yeah. to do it early while you've got your wishes known and have the sensitive conversations yeah. with your family. Yeah, you don't Thank want to be doing it beside the hospital bed, do you? <laughs> 
Oh, no. Well, I've got some solicitors that have actually reached out and I've been able to organise hospital visits. Oh, really? Call out for your clients. But, yeah, I've got yeah. some wonderful solicitors. Wow. Well, to have people to do that sensitively because that can be really tricky. So the earlier the better, but getting all this sort of really good advice because it's all new to us, you know, we have never been there before. Every time we take <laughs> another year, you know, under our belts, it's a new, comes yeah. up with new issues that we don't know yeah. about. So when you, how can you contact people? How can people contact you while they're here? So we're on stall 18, I think. Right. Um, we also have a brand new website, actually, that's been updated and modernised, which we're quite excited about, which is codanewsouthwales.com.au. Right. Um, so, yes, we'll be here today and tomorrow, and we look forward to having chats with people. Fantastic. Well, they'll certainly see you. There's so many people here. <laughs> there is. And very busy. Yeah, it's fabulous, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I think people are so thrilled to get yes. out. And also to get the information they need. Yeah. So thank you to Code and New South Wales. Thank you, Judith. Thank you, Karen, yeah. for we, coming in. We like to hear about what's important to people as well. So we really like to open a conversation with them and hear back if there's any issues that are impacting them that they'd like us to advocate to government for. We, we really like And they can talk about anything with Absolutely, you? Absolutely. Yeah. Anything? Yep. That's great. So just relationships even and... Oh, personal relationships, you mean? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> how do you have con <laughs> how do you have those important conversations? Um, yeah, we're, we're not obviously psychiatrists or anything like no, that. No, I don't mean um, therapy. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it might just be therapy, just having a chat. Yes, you know, yes, like but no, we're happy to, to talk to anyone about, about any anything and yeah. steer people in the right That's direction. Right. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. and thank you for being a voice for our uh, our seniors and our. Um, Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you both Thanks for coming for in okay. and chatting. Okay, have Thank a great you. festival, Expo. Thanks. Okay, see you. Bye. Bye.